John 3, 16. Most popular scripture we have in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life. God had a plan. He wanted everybody to have everlasting life, which was sound. He wants you in heaven. He wants you in heaven. But even God knows we're not all going to make it. We're not all going to make it because we like the heathen way. We like to be in our flesh. We like to think on our own. We like to lean to our own understanding. We like to have our mind and not the mind of Christ. We like, hello, don't we like it? Don't we like it? So he says, should not perish but have everlasting life. He had that plan. He had that plan for us to have everlasting life. Amen. So the scripture in John 3.36 says this. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. That's a semicolon now. That means that's a thought that has been completed. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son. Do you believe on the Son? Do you believe on the Son? Other words, right now, he that believeth in the chair they sit on will always have something to sit on. Now, how could that work? You what? I can't hear you. You believe the chair will hold you, but if you believe in the chair that you sitting on, you're going to have to carry that chair. <laughs> you got to carry that chair everywhere you go. Now, what would I look like packing a chair? I believe in this chair. You know why I believe in this chair? Because I used it. It has held. I don't know about that chair. I don't know about that chair. I don't know about that chair. But I know that I have used this one. And since I have been on this chair, it has been one with me. It's one with me. This chair and I on one accord. Hello? Amen. He that believeth on him. Amen. Other words, when you use, I don't want to say use, Lord, because they're going to think they have power. But when you use, allow the Lord to use you. When you allow the Lord to use you and you realize that it is the Lord and I know that this chair is good for me, amen. I don't even know if the chair you own is good for me, but I know this chair is good for me, then I want to have this chair with me wherever I if you have allowed the Lord to use you, then you need to want the Lord to be with you at. And if the Lord is with you at all times within you, then the Lord is trying to get you to see that the goal is to have salvation. That's all the Lord is working for. See, Jesus Christ is coming back again, but he's not coming to stay. It, did y'all not understand that? He's coming back again. He's not coming to stay. He's coming for me. 
And when he comes for me, he's not going to leave me up in the clouds. That's right. He's taking me home. Because it says, I'm going to pray, prepare a place for you. And where I am, I'm so glad he said that I'm going to be with him. Amen. Also, and I know that is his salvation. That's what he's working for. Anybody understanding this? Is there anybody understanding this? Because I'm telling you right now, you've got to change. You've got to make some changes in your outlook. I'm glad that you're saved. I'm glad you're sanctified. And I'm glad you feel with the Holy Ghost. But you need to make sure that you let that Holy Ghost have dominion in you.